Personal homepage, hypertext preprocessor, whatever name you choose to call it, this particular language provides ample reasons for some developers to believe that, one, programming languages should never be invented in the bathroom, which is what we suspect Mr. Lerdorf did, and two, never write a language when you're in an extremely surly mood, which is the only other possible reason he never bothered to finish up with the loose ends and made it just as annoying to use. So what is this mysterious language everyone is talking about and cannot seem to stop hating? PHP activists might find that insulting. Theirs is a language that does not need to announce itself, as its spooky tendency to be everywhere does that already. Regardless, PHP is easily one of the not-so-many languages that have been publicly regretted by their creators, and insulted halfway across the internet and back. But if you thought the word worst in the title of this video is only about bad qualities, then you and Lerdarf need some quiet time to get yourselves together. Now, let's get into it. The People's Republic of PHP. We don't have an issue with democracy or the lofty ideals it represents. Truly, it is an extraordinarily beautiful concept, but ask us to choose between an obscure, high-end barrier your language that provides platform security and one that allows 13-year-old developers to make an absolute mess of the internet on their first rodeo and you know of course that that is certainly a no-brainer. And this is one of PHP's finest qualities. It isn't much of a language in the standard sense and its history is perfect proof. In another of Mr. Lerdorf's infamous confessions, he admitted he was never a stickler for basic level rules. If all he followed, all he said was simply the next logical step. It's the dead center opposite of logic to expect better from the bloated community that would stretch longer than the continent of Asia if arranged in a single line. PHP for confusion. If you're a developer with a fetish for migraine and a desire for new excitement, PHP is just the ideal language for you. While it does not replace your typical whips and handcuffs or hitting your head against your keyboard in this context, it single-handedly converts your mind into the perfect mush of disorientation you want it to be in, in the quickest time too. Some might even argue that this is why it has such a fanatical fan base and why many still continue to use and learn it despite the obvious reasons not to. Once you fall over the edge, you're simply fallen over over the edge. The interesting part, you could be an expert in any of the other languages that PHP borrows from and still be confounded by the sheer amount of jargon you still have to comprehend. There frankly isn't a lot of artistry here, and you spot that in the exclusive focus on utility rather than utility and finesse. Open Door PHP PHP, a lesson on love and vulnerability. Fans love PHP so much they are willing to ignore the security deficiencies and allow every Waldron baby hacker to waltz into their websites and out of it. Once a security flaw is spotted, it takes little time for malicious hackers to do their thing on a target platform, but calm down, PHP we honestly get the point, and open source code is only truly open when there is popular access. So yeah, come on in. Bugs, bugs, bugs. If PHP was an entire state, it would have the most calls to pest control, and that is really not surprising. When you consider that it is a jungle of beginners and wannabe maverick developers, you do develop an idea of where it's all headed. The few smart ones with actual deployable knowledge have leveraged that intellect to do a gracious bow and transfer to a different community. And for those those who are left, the terrifying but natural alternative is the creation of problematic and incredibly frustrating code. The usual safeguards of Python and other languages are apparently PHP incompatible, and everyone has the slippery slope of complications. Be bedazzled by it. Ancestry. Let's talk more about the origins. PHP was originally developed as a basic language for Rasmus Lerdorf's personal use, which is a likely reason for the initial personal in personal homepage. Hold on. Is it? Beats us. When it was snapped up for further development, it was intended to help programming newbies navigate the opening phases of their perfectly sedentary life. Trot a couple decades down the line and what you have is an explosion of low-level developers deploying a high-level language in one of the most adventurous ways possible. Maybe you really cannot blame Lerdor for making those denials. After all, man never meant to create this. Anyhow, the involvement of such a large body of contributors meant that it switched from its original design intent into something applied to larger and more complicated roles than it is suitable for. First it was for HTML, then it evolved into procedural, and now it's some kind of pseudo-object-oriented programming language that tries to compete with languages that actually thought to follow consistent and more predictable behaviors. For PHP, the whole point of scalability is an utterly lost cause. But can PHP actually be written off? The fact seems to disagree. While PHP has dropped from its 5th place ranking in the Stack Overflow Developer Survey in 2017 to 10th place in 2022, it is still very active in the web development space. Approximately 80% of websites on the internet are built on PHP. Some estimates suggest that more than 244 million websites use PHP. Others place this figure at a more conservative 5 million. Whichever it is, those are incredibly high figures for a language that gets so much hate. Furthermore, there are lots of potential advantages to using PHP. The sheer number of websites built on PHP make it easy to integrate plugins, add-ons, and a variety of third-party resources across multiple platforms. The language also works smoothly with different operating systems, including Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. 
This increases the pace of project development. You can also integrate PHP with an extensive volume of databases such as MySQL, MSSQL, SQLite. Although you might be tempted to use MySQL because it is the more popular option, have it at the back of your mind that there are others too. Another perk of using PHP is that it doesn't bother your finances. A lot of resources you will use at the development phase are free and easy to access, so you can always count on a smooth operation if your team has a limited budget. To make things even better, the expansive fan base of this language translates to more resources, meaning you can make iterations based on the contributions of members of the community. Now let's solve the paradox. How is one language so frustrating yet so popular? Well, in all fairness, the speed of development for PHP, as we mentioned, is one quality it has on its side. Add that to the minimal cost, the ease of finding experts with a head for the language, flexibility, web traffic management, and what you have is a probable explanation for why major companies like Facebook, Wikipedia, Zoom, Canva, Cloudflare, Microsoft, Tesla, and a whole bunch of others are happy to use PHP. Combined with a language like JavaScript, it becomes a much more powerful asset than it is given credit for. One could also argue that certain things are inevitable in the life of a programming language such as the persistent threat of cyber intrusion. Even the most secure languages remain exposed to this risk. And while it is a kind of a thing with PHP, an objective assessment dictates that we acknowledge the community's efforts too. The latest update to the language. PHP 8 was launched with a lot of fixes to some of its common problems. From its early days as a clunky body of code, PHP has come a long way and it continues to improve with fixes. The more users adopt it, the more visible its flaws become, and the more agile the developer responses to fixing it have been. It has also evolved into a much faster resource than it once was, nullifying most of the arguments against it and spotlighting its merits even better. And that's it for today's video guys, thank you for sticking with us till the very end. Quick question, do you see PHP evolving into a language capable of handling complicated tasks anytime soon? What will it take to elbow it out of its current dominance? Leave your thoughts in the comment section, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you in the next one.